What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you are excited. I am excited to get filming today's video purely because you guys see the title. We are starting a new routine. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you will know that I switched back from upper lower, upper lower to push pull legs around about two, maybe three months ago. That for me right now is just not working. It's as simple as that. And so I thought I need a change, I need some sort of new structure, but something came up. I'm gonna explain a little bit more in today's video, guys. Drop it a like, let's get it started. <laughs> Okay, so immediate kind of confidence knocker, right? Over the past few months, my bench hasn't really gone anywhere. You guys saw the massive 100 kg bench press video. I went, I went nuts when I got that, right? To be honest, I ended up getting that up to a few reps, and then since then, I've kind of been cutting down or just maintaining, doing nothing, kind of doing whatever with my training. So the reason for purchasing this new training plan and starting it is to make a change. A change that hopefully is going to be for the better and so one thing I'm going to be doing with my bench press in particular is actually widening my grip. You see comment after comment after comment after comment on my 100kg bench video. Widen your grip. Why is your grip so narrow? Why don't you grip your shift more weight? Anybody else think it's weird? Why is grip so narrow? And to be honest guys I have my reasons for that and if you watch the channel for a long time you know my reasons but I figured that it's time for a change. Over the next few weeks, over the next couple of months or so, I'm gonna be slowly but surely widening my bench press grip. Really because that will take the stress and put it more on the chest. I have a very narrow grip, which is more triceps. I have very strong, very dominant shoulders and triceps, which helps me with the narrow grip, helps me shift more weight. But chest is a weak point of mine, and I've kind of been avoiding that because of that. At the end of the day, I want to compete one day. Not yet, in a few years time, but in order to do that and to win, I'm gonna to have to have an even, well-developed physique. And to be honest, the way I was benching, I don't think is gonna help me achieve that. In terms of strength, in terms of size, my chest is my weakest body part, by far. And so widening my grip is gonna put the tension more on the chest, get me more chest pumps, breaking those muscle fibers down, and hopefully building a bigger chest. Because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna win a freaking bodybuilding competition if I have no chest. Unfortunately though, because of the different grip, it does mean I'm having to reduce the weight a little bit. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta get a little bit weaker to benefit in the long run. To get stronger in the long run, sometimes we have to reduce our numbers. Unfortunately, that does play with the head, it messes with the ego, but it is what it is. Trust the process. <laughs> This new plan has new exercises, new rep ranges, new days for me to be training. Everything is kind of being changed up and along with that I'm making differences to my bench press, I'm doing more dumbbells, all that kind of stuff. It's going to make a big difference to me mentally, to me physically. I knew it was time for a change, I just had to figure out what that change was going to be. We're going to be incorporating more cardio, more functional exercises. I'm freaking buzzing to get started guys. <laughs> So for the past two years, I've pretty much just done my own thing when it comes to training. I've kind of crafted my plan around what we had in the home gym. And that is something I'm having to do with this new routine. The, the exercise that you guys just see me do, the incline chest flies, that is meant to be on a machine pet fly. You know, like the ones with the pads you get in the gym. However, obviously we do not have access to that. We've got a pretty damn good home gym here. But we don't have a machine chest fly. So that's just one example of having to kind of adapt it a little bit to, to, to suit what I actually have available to me. But the difference is with this plan 
is that it's not made by me. It's made by someone you might have heard of before. It's made by someone you've seen on the channel before. Goes by the name of Matt Does Fitness. I mean, I pride myself on my shoulder press, right? One rep max, 90 kilos. But Matt, this new routine, I'm f***ed. The reason I'm addressing that statement directly to Matt is because, you know, a while back, body power, right? I told you guys, the guys watching at home, that we were best friends. Can you just tell the public that we are now best friends? Yes. We are absolutely best friends. Right before I started that set, I got a nice little email. An email that said Matt Does Fitness has subscribed to your YouTube channel. I knew, I knew that one day we would be best friends. So Matt has recently released four programs. This is the hybrid program. The reason I thought that it would be best for me is because I've never really trained with that mindset. I've kind of always been like, okay, I'm going to do eight reps and I'm going to try and put on some muscle. And then I just kind of stuck to that for like two years and there's been no real, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it was time for a change and I knew that this routine would be different. I knew that there would be different exercises, different rep ranges. And I thought, fuck it, why not? Give it a go. And I'll tell you how I know it's already going to work. Usually for eight reps, I would stick on 65 kilos and do three sets of eight. This is four sets of 10 to 15. So what I've decided to do is stick on 50. Normally when I shoulder press, it would be at the start of a session. This is halfway through, I'm already a little bit fatigued and definitely, definitely can see the difference. I didn't show you guys, but I stuck 60 on and just could not lift it. So anyway, I've been resting for too long. Let's keep it going. <laughs> So everybody, that is the session done. Triceps feeling full at the end of that. I don't usually do skull crushers purely because um, they usually hurt my elbows, but they're in the plan, I'm gonna stick to the plan, I'm gonna trust the plan, and um, I just told myself to stop being a pussy and get on with it really. Right, sixth session, let's get some food. You? You? Let's get yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. That's more than I thought. Have you ever seen spaghetti bolognese made like that? I think. So pretty much what we have is 800 grams of muscle food bolognese that's between the four of us and there's like two or three servings of leftovers. Um, and this fresh kind of tagliatelle, um, it's a little bit more calories and a little bit more carbs, but it tastes freaking amazing. So, this is gonna be accompanied by. Oh, a pink gin. I don't even care what anybody says. Beer tastes like sh Pink gin, pink drinks in general. Very amazing. Well, that was a lot lighter than I expected, um, to the point where the machine didn't even recognize who I was. Um, it's one of those kind of body fat scales. It always tells me I'm at around about 20%, but if I go on that body track scale, it tells me that I'm around about 15, 16, something like that. But, in the past few weeks, I have lost weight, whether that be through muscle and fat, um, but I have definitely lost weight because I was, you know, 180 sort of before I started working. So when I graduated, since graduation, I've lost seven, maybe even eight pounds. Now again, as you guys know, if you have been watching the channel 
for a while, you will know that that was not necessarily intentional. It was just a part of the new lifestyle that I have been living. Pretty much, I've been working, um, you know, five, six days a week now for around about three months in a gym where I'm active, I'm teaching classes, I'm going through stuff with people, I'm demonstrating. It involves a lot of hit cardio, it involves a lot of tidying the gym as well. And so actually, I'm burning a lot of calories on the go. And I know that another question I'm gonna get with this new routine is, Liam, what are you gonna be doing? Are you gonna be bulking? Are you gonna be cutting? Like, because it seems like on social media, you always have to be doing one or the other. You kind of have to stick to something, you have to be doing something, otherwise you're just kind of coasting in the middle. And I do agree with that to a certain extent, but, with this new routine, I think what I'm going to do is just keep doing what I'm doing. Like, my family has a pizza together on a Friday night. I am going to enjoy that with my family. That's family time, you know? We sit down, we watch TV, we eat pizza together. That's, that's just what we do, right? I'm not going to miss out on that. Charlotte and I want to go for drinks fairly soon. That is 100% without a doubt still going to happen. I'm just not at a point in my life where I want to give up those things. And so I think what I'm gonna do is just be cautious with what I'm eating because I measure everything I eat anyway. I know the exact amount of calories, blah, 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 except for, you know, when I go and have a pizza. What I'm gonna do is literally just stick to doing that, see whether I keep losing weight, maintaining weight, or gaining weight, or see how I go with this new plan and just stick to it to four, six, 12 weeks, see how we go, because at the end of the day, I have my entire life to hit massive numbers, I have my entire life to get super shredded. I'm just gonna see how I go, how I feel, and how I can balance this new plan with my work. And that's pretty much the plan at the minute, guys. So that is gonna round off today's video. Excited to get started on the new plan. Cheers, Matt, for the new plan, and uh, I cannot wait to have biceps bigger than yours. As always guys, be sure to drop a massive like. Comment down below your thoughts on the new routine. Do you think it's time for a change? Do you think it was a good decision, a bad decision? I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts because your guys' kind of constructive criticism can actually come in pretty handy sometimes. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks again for watching guys. Together we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video.